hello hello my beautiful ladies and welcome back to another video guys so today guys i want to do something a little different and it may be like what the hell panda what are you doing but i thought it would be really cool i don't know but are you guys familiar with the uno game um that's a game that i grew up playing in school with my friends in the house you know with my siblings and whatnot so that's a game i really enjoy and now i play with my kids you know with my husband and stuff um but i saw this really really cool one that i want to share with you guys and it is this one it is a uno sonrio card game i've never ever ever seen a uno game uh, with the sonrio characters uh it looks a little busted maybe right here because it did have like a sticker i don't know why see it's all sticky they put a sticker here um like with the label the description and stuff where you got it and all that uh, but i wanted you guys to see the full cover so i took the time to scrape it off without ripping the, the box uh, but this is how it looks and i want to do something really fun like in my mind you know what i mean um i have not opened it guys i have not opened it um Okay, so they gave us a red and blue pile. Okay. And then this is what the stacks look like. This is the back of the... Isn't this so cute? <gasps> it's super cute. Okay. So what I want to do is... Um, I want to shuffle them. Well, first we'll look through them. But I want to shuffle them and pick out a card you already know everything with me is not related so whatever card we get and stuff that's the card that i'm gonna get inspired by and obviously create a set from it okay it don't matter the character or nothing like that whatever the card holds that's what we're gonna get inspired from and that is what we are gonna we're gonna use to create a little sum sum, okay? <gasps> Woo! We started off strong with Pachaco. So these are a little bit of what we have. Are they all? Oh, we got a little Kuromi. She mad. Okay. So I'm just gonna go through them really fast, just so we see a little bit of what we have. Chubby dog. Got Kuromi. Oh, my melody. The little chubby dog again. What's his name? Pomperoni or something? Uh, we got Kuromi again. We have my melody. It's like the same but different background. Okay. So because we have three, I'm only going to get one. Woo, we got Cinema Room. Oh, he's a plus four. See, I like him, but I don't like that. Plus four, come on, man. We got our girl here with the reverse. We got Hello Kitty with the skip. And then we have Karomi with the change color. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, so because a lot of them repeat, I don't know. Well, they do have different backgrounds, so... I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. Let me see if the other stack is the same. Hopefully not. You guys probably have some of these, huh? I'm, I'm new to this because, I don't know. I never knew they made different Unos. I, I You know what I'm saying? I stick to the traditional one. And, uh, but this is so cool to know. Okay, I feel like they are repeating. They just give you, like, obviously double stack to have more players. 
and stuff. So, yeah, I feel like the pictures are about the same. And her little star boy. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, we have her in a little cake. And the little Pachaco dog. Okay, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of each. See how there's two blue and one pink? So I will get like one pink and one blue because the background does change. So we will have like two of each character. I really hope they would have had like this one, the Kuropi guy, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they had too much Kuromi and my melody repeatedly they only had a few of these they didn't even include these like oh that made me sad because i wanted to have all the characters you know like for it to be fair like all of them so we'll see what happens so let me um shuffle them see which ones i have i don't want to have like triples and you know so let me separate them we'll check them out and then we'll get started on our freestyle all right, guys, as you can see, um, okay, both of the stacks, one of them hold the pink and the blue, and then the other stack um, hold the green and the, the green and the yellow. So I got, let's say, for example, this one is the same design, but there's one, uh, obviously, of each color. And... If the image stays the same, that's fine. The only thing we will be switching is the backgrounds. For example, I'm gonna I'm just gonna shuffle all of them. And I'm gonna pick out two cards. It can be the same character, different background, it's fine. Or it can be um it can be I'll show you. I don't know. I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna confuse you and I feel like I already am. But yeah, I'm just going to pick out two cards. And whichever one I get, I will do those. Like I said, if it's the same character, if I choose two cards and it's the same character, obviously the only thing that was going to change is the background. So in my design, I would just, instead of incorporating a blue, I would incorporate both blue and pink for the same character. Now, if I go ahead and pull two cards and for example it is two different characters two different backgrounds it's fine it makes it more fun it makes it more um you know what i mean like more more add-ons and stuff so yeah if i pick a black one obviously i have two characters here karomi and my melody so i will pick those two use the main color in the background which is black and then i will add on any color that I would want okay I just want to make it fun and you know what I'm saying because it's literally me and you playing together so um yeah I just want to make it fun and make the oh, hold up wait a minute and make the um you know the design different fun whatever I don't know how to shuffle I never said I did so don't judge me friend okay I'm not Card games are not my, you know what I'm saying? They're not like, oh, that's what I'm good at. No, people shuffle real good, real fast. I don't have those casino techniques, okay? All right, so that's all we're going to do. Simple jack. That's it, simple jack. We don't know what's what. I just don't want them to stick together. I don't want to get two same characters. Okay. Come on, y'all. Joint. Alright, so I'm going to get one. Oh, hopefully it's a cute one. Ah! Okay, I'm going to get one from the top. 
<laughs> All right, we got a pink Hello Kitty. And then we're going to get one from the middle. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got the little doggy. Pumperin. Pumperin, whatever his name is. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we obviously are going to stay in the pink zone because we got two pink backgrounds but we do have two different characters okay we have our hello kitty and our little pumperin or whatever i don't know how to say his name i'm just gonna keep saying it like that um all right so this is what we got for today and now i am gonna gather the stuff so i can start freestyling something cute kawaii and coquette all right so stay tuned all right, guys. So for the base of the of this set, we're gonna be doing poly gel. So get your poly gels ready. All right, and it's gonna be featuring our girl Keisha. All right.
all right guys so for this little cookie here um i am because this guy he has a little cherry i don't have cherry charms i only have like big metal ones but i don't have like cute tiny you know resin ones so what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna build one i'm gonna build one with my little sheen mold because i think these are like super cool So I'm gonna go ahead and just build one. Um, with this one here, with the smallest one, or this one, whichever. But these are the smallest, the smallest cherries on the mold. These are humongous. This one have like a rhinestone, you know, finish to them. So I want the regular little cherry. All right. So let me get her out the way okay just okay so I am gonna start my mold all right my beautiful ladies well this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed my little quick cute kawaii little freestyle and i hope you guys like the little cherry charm that i did with my sheen silicone mold if you have not seen me do a charm before and you want to see it detail by detail um i do have another video girls where you guys can check how to do the charms detail by detail all right so that is it for today y'all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye